I'm going to start working on problem three using a CoLab notebook as suggested here. There's a link to it in the uh, lesson page. So the CoLab system contains some sample data in a subdirectory of the de default directory. So click on the little file folder on the upper left. That's here. And here we see the sample data folder. And inside it, there is a file called readme.md. So there's the file name, readme.md. The path is from the default directory through the sample data directory and then to the file name. So this code here is the code to open the file and then read data from it and print it. So let's try that. Okay, the directory contains a few sample data sets. And here we can see that's what is actually in that file. Okay, that's great. Now what we want to do is to um, ask the user to enter a file name instead of hard coding it here. So let's say um, input what file do you want to see? Now let's try that. Uh, let's say readme.md. Okay, that worked. Now if I run this again and I say, then you can see there's a file not found error. So what I want to do is to use try and accept to handle the file not found error. Um, and so what I need to do after they enter the file is to say try and then we'll indent this code and then accept. And what I want to say is Sorry, your file doesn't Okay, so All right, let's try that All right works if I have a correct file And if the file doesn't exist, it gives me this nice polite message. Now I'm going to try running this code on my local computer using the Jupyter Notebook in VS Code. When I downloaded this notebook, I downloaded it into my documents directory. So let's um, go ahead and run this and see what the current working directory is. Okay, it's my user directory and downloads. All right. Um, and it's, of course, got an error because there isn't any folder in my downloads directory called sample data. Now, I do actually have a file in my downloads directory called test.txt that contains some random text. So what I'm going to do here is just get rid of this um, subdirectory because the file name is directly in my downloads directory. And then let's change the name of this to the real file test.txt and let's try that. 
Okay, there it is. This file contains some random text. So I'll go ahead and modify this as I did before and say, what is the file name? And then try except sorry your file does not exist that looks good okay so let's try this uh, into the file name s.txt. Okay, that was good. Junk.txt. Sorry, your file does not exist. And I actually don't really need to be printing my current working directory every time, so let's just comment that out. All right, that works.